Hello and welcome to Customer Insights in Under 5. My name is John Weezy, and in this episode, I'm going to talk to you about cross-tenant machine learning model access. So there's a number of scenarios that we could cover here. The easiest scenario is that you have deployed an Azure machine learning model, like I have here, into my Azure tenant, and I want to access it from Customer Insights, but my Customer Insights is in a different tenant than my Azure is. The second potential option is that you want to give someone outside your organization access to be able to use this model. And then the inverse of that is our third one, where you want to access a model that somebody else has deployed into their Azure subscription. So all of these are accomplished the exact same way. The person that is going to be sharing the model needs to go out into Azure and provide access. So here I have a model. I've already deployed it as a web service. If I go into my customer insights, you can see that I'm already using this model. It sits in the Microsoft tenant and it's called Hotel Churn. So the first step, as I said, is for the person that owns the model that they want to share to go into the Azure subscription that they have and give access to that model to the user that needs access to it. So I'm going to go in here, go into my machine learning studio. In machine learning studio, I'll open the workspace. Then I need to go into the resource group. And finally, into the actual web service. So this is, you can see, the Machine Learning Studio Classic web service. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and click on Access Control. And I'm going to add a role assignment. I only have to give reader access. That's all they need. And then I go ahead and I type in the email of the person that I want to give access to. So in this case, I have a good friend of mine, Alex P. Keaton, and uh, I want to give him access to be able to use my web service in his customer insights. So I go ahead and I select him and I hit save. And it's going to go ahead and add him and then it's going to invite him via email. To save a step here, I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Now what you could do is you could copy it and then email it to your good buddy, Alex. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and switch over now because that's all I have to do. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to a different browser as Alex. Okay, here I am in a browser as Alex. The first thing Alex needs to do is accept the invitation to his friend's Active Directory. So he goes ahead and uses the link that was provided. Authenticate. Part of authentication is saying yes to allowing it to sign in and read my information. And then once I'm in, then I can go ahead and now go to my Customer Insights instance for Alex. And you can see I'm now logged in as Alex into his own Customer Insights. So if I go back up here, you see that it is the customer insights for this account. And if I go into intelligence here and I say custom model, new workflow, you see that the default tenant is Alex's tenant, this test underscore test underscore. If I switch that to the Microsoft one, which Alex now sees and sign in, Alex will now have access to that hotel churn model and can continue to use this model just like if he was running it in the other tenant. So that's how you add cross-tenant access to your machine learning models. Hope you enjoyed this episode and tune in again.